With the modeling of the battery holder complete, I want to add some text-based information onto the model itself. I'm going to do that by engraving text. So I'll go to the text tool, select the location for the text, and then key in what I want. In this case, it's going to be Vex Clawbot, and then battery holder. That text will then be placed on the sketch that I created. I'm just going to center that sketch, looks just a little bit better. I need to locate that so that it's centered on the battery holder itself. To do that, I'll drag the text approximately into location. Then I'll project the geometry. I'm going to project one of those edges. Then I'm going to center the text onto the center of that line using that vertical constraint technique that I've been using. So that's good. It's now in the correct location. I can finish my sketch and then go to the emboss command. So underneath emboss is the engrave from face option. Select the profile, which is the text. Set the depth. I'm going to make the depth 0 0.05 and change the color at the bottom of the engrave to black. This just makes it easier to see. I can now go ahead and complete the engraving. And as I rotate that around, you can see the engraving and the black color at the bottom. What we have is a default material. I'm going to apply a material which is more accurate. In this case, we're going to be looking at ABS plastic. And the color is changed to smooth white by default. 